Hi, good evening. Welcome to 1010 Prayer Online. Tonight is homework night. I know that by now you must be getting used to learning to pray to either with yourself, with your family, or even on Zoom calls. Let me share a tip. Gather some friends that may be feeling a little bit disconnected. And what you can do before you come into this time of prayer is that you come Zoom together for about 10-15 minutes, pray for each other, then watch the video, and then after the video is finished, you go back to your Zoom friends and together you pray. I heard that many people tried that and they found it a very enriching experience. Tonight, I want to remind ourselves about Friday's teaching, which was really about prayer. It's about the presence of God. Remember, when you build a prayer altar, it is a spiritual gateway between heaven and earth, a stairway from heaven to earth and earth to heaven. And the purpose of this spiritual gateway is really that the presence of God comes into our midst. Prayer is really a connection with God. The presence of God, let me remind you, provides four things. The first, of course, the presence of God is His powerful presence. So when the presence of God comes, darkness has to go. So you have heard Pastor Chu say, when light comes, darkness has to go. So the first thing the presence of God does is brings in the power of God, the powerful name of Jesus. The presence of God comes, darkness leaves a place. Secondly, when the presence of God comes, it's protection. Like in Psalm 91, which we're going to use to pray tonight, it's about protection. Because when the presence of God comes, He's covering us with the blood of Jesus Christ. We come under the protection of the blood of the Lamb. Thirdly, the presence of God is also about provision, guidance, and even as He provides us understanding, perspectives, even at this time when we are facing a difficult situation, this whole lockdown season, this whole isolation season. What is the perspective of God in this whole season? But the fourth thing that's very good is this. When the presence of God comes, it is about the Prince of Peace coming to be in our midst. So four things to remember when we talk about prayer and welcoming the presence of God. Firstly, it's about His power, the power that shatters the darkness. Secondly, it's about His protection. The blood of Jesus Christ that provides a covering to protect us. Thirdly, it's about provision, provision for our needs and also a Lord that is present with us, a very present help in times of need. Fourthly, it's about Jesus being the Prince of Peace. So this is what the presence of God does. So we're going to start tonight's prayer by singing the song, Jesus, We Enthrone You. Are you ready? You know, this is a powerful song. Every time I sing this song, I'm reminded God is in the very room with us. Come, let's sing. One, two, three. Jesus, we enthrone you. We proclaim you are King. Standing here in the midst of us, we lift you up with our praise. And as we worship, builds your throne. And as we worship, builds your throne. And as we worship, builds your throne. Come, Lord Jesus, and build, and take your place. Jesus, we enthrone you. We proclaim you are King, standing here in the midst of us. We raise you up with our praise, and as we worship, build your throne. And as we worship, build your throne. And as we worship, build your throne. Come, Lord Jesus and take your place. Come, Lord Jesus, and take your place. Come, Lord Jesus, and take 
your place. Yes, Lord, take your place. Take your place in our home now. Let the throne of God come from heaven to earth. We thank you, Lord, that the throne of God is present when we worship you, Lord. It comes from heaven to earth, comes to the very room that we're in. We thank you, Lord. We enthrone you even in our homes, in our rooms, and right now even in Malaysia. Stretch your hands towards the window and we're going to proclaim, Lord, we welcome you. And as we worship, build your throne. And as we worship, build your throne. And as we worship, build your throne. Come, Lord Jesus, and take your place. Come, Lord Jesus, and take your place. Come, Lord Jesus, and take your place now we're going to read psalm 91 and we're going to use this psalm to pray and to really this is a powerful psalm that allows the lord allows us to dwell in his presence because it starts by saying he who dwells in the shelter of the most high will rest in the shadow of the almighty can you imagine he who is inside the shelter of the Most High? That's what means the presence. We're abiding in the presence of God. It's the shelter of the Most High. And it's so powerful is the presence that we're resting in the shadow of the Almighty. You know one thing about shadows? You need light before you can have a shadow. That means no matter what darkness we're going through, we're resting in the shadow of the Almighty. That means His light is shining into the darkness. And now we are resting in His shadow. So are you ready? Are you ready to pray this prayer together with me? Come, one, two, three. Lord God Almighty, as I dwell in the shelter of the Most High, I will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Yes, Lord. You will save us from the foulest net and from the deadly pestilence. You will cover us with your feathers and under your wings we will find refuge and your faithfulness will be our shield and our rampart. We will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stops in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at our right hand, but it will not, and 10,000 at our right hand, but it will not come near us. We will only observe it with the eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. But Lord God, because, because, O oh Lord God, because I have chosen to make the most high, I made it a point to make the most high my dwelling. I made it a point to make the most high to abide in his presence. Even the Lord, who is my refuge, then no harm will befall me. No disaster will come near my tent. For he will command his angels concerning us to guard us in all our ways. He will not, the, the angels will lift us up in their hands so that we will not strike our foot against a stone. We will tread upon the lion and the cobra. We will trample the great lion and the serpent. And yes, Lord, because we love him. We have set our love on God. Yes, God, you will rescue us. You will protect us because we have acknowledged your name. We have known you by name. We have known your name. Yes, Lord, when we call upon you, you will answer us. You be with us in trouble. You deliver us and honor us. And with long life, you will satisfy us and show us your salvation. What a, amen. I'm going to encourage you. Read it also in the NLT. It's different, slightly different in the NLT and some wonderful modern language as well. Proclaim it together with your family. Proclaim it over Malaysia. Tonight, even as you pray for your family and for Malaysia, there's one group of people I feel we must pray for because we want to bring the presence of God into them. And one of the things about the presence of God is not just is protection, is provision, as well as peace. This group of people, you know, we are shut in in houses that have many rooms. But think of those who are shut in in houses that are very, very small. Maybe only one room with many children. Oh, there must be so much no peace. 
no joy, maybe quarrels. Let's now pray for these families that are shut in, in very stuffy conditions, with no food, not much food. Father, let's pray for them. Shall we join me in praying for them? I'm concerned about them. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, we thank you. We dwell under the shadow of thy wings. We dwell under the shelter of the Most High. And so because we are called the children of God, we can stand in the gap to pray for people who do not know you. But right now, they need your presence, O Lord God. They need the peace of God to come into that home. Father, O Lord God, even as families are shut in and they're very in tight surroundings and the children are crying and screaming, O Lord God, may the Prince of Peace come into that home, Lord. Even as we've declared, we ask the presence of God to come into Malaysia. We ask for the Prince of peace to come into those homes. May the families be able to live in peace. Even as they're quarreling, Lord, may they bring reconciliation. Father, we pray for family relationships. We pray for even healing of relationships. We pray even for opportunity to say sorry. We pray even for fathers to be able to talk to mothers. We pray for children to be able to talk to each other. We pray for children to be able to talk to parents, Lord. And Lord, provide for them. You are the provider, Lord. Provide for their needs, Lord. We thank you for the many funds that have been raised to provide food for those who have none. Father, may be those who have nothing be able to get to these resources. We thank you for our GG fund. We thank you for our COVID-19 fund that's being launched even today. Father, O oh Lord God, and many other churches that are launching funds, Lord. So Father, we thank you. When the presence of God comes, not even a single person will be hungry in Malaysia. When the presence of God comes, there'll be no more quarrelings. There'll be peace, O oh Lord God, in the homes, O oh Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much for being with me tonight at 1010 online. Pray for these families and pray for anyone you know who's lonely. Perhaps begin to develop a prayer group with them. Go on Zoom. So I'll see you tomorrow night when there'll be more to understand about what to do in the season of prayer. Good night.